Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm just going to show you the editing process of this photo from the beginning to the end. Uh, everything I made to this photo is made of uh, six photos, focus stack and panorama. And uh, if you want to see how I made this photo on the location, there's a link here. You can see how I made this photo and in this video today we are going to make the whole editing process. So let's begin. So as you can see here, this is the first photo. I'm focusing here at the beginning of the branch and the second photo I was focusing um, at the end of the branch. I will do focus tap to these first two photos. And uh, now the third photos I, will, uh, I was focusing here at the beginning of the branch. And this photo I was focusing at the end of the branch also. I will also do a focus tap for these two photos. And the last photo here, I was just focusing at the book, uh, at the background because, yeah, I will just, yeah, take this background from uh, this photo. That's why I, I don't need any focus tag. There's nothing near the lens or there's nothing uh, uh, need a focus tagging. Um, and this photo, I just take this leaf from, from this photo here because, yeah, I just feel it's yeah, I'm, I'm more beautiful than this photo here. So I will start with just normal local adjustment. I will take off the highlights and um, I will just adjust the white and the black. I will not do I will not do very big adjustment now. I will just wait to just have you know all the photo merged and everything together so that I can decide what I want. Yeah, to make with the whole scene better than just adjustment to local, yeah, local places. Yeah, maybe I will, yeah, add some vibrance and the tone curve. I will, I, I just do that, Emar. I, yeah, I made uh, medium contrast so that just I made, yeah, I add a little bit of contrast to the scene. Yeah, something like that. And now I will not play with the color. I just, as I said, I just want to wait to yeah, having all the photo and after that I can decide what I want to do with the scene. Split toning, I will not add anything. Maybe yeah, I will just add a little bit of sharpening without water, yeah, without the water. Yeah, the sharpening would be to the leaf, to the branch and So, and of course, enable profile correction, remove chromatic appearation. So now I have everything I just want to do. The very normal adjustment. I will do a synchronization. So now I will start with the focus tag. I will take only the first two photos, which is this two photos, this one and this one, and I will take I will select them and open them as layers in Photoshop because I want to do I want to do focus tag for these two image. As you can see now, I have the both photos in Photoshop. This is the first layer I was yeah, focusing here in the foreground, and the second layer I was focusing at the end of the branch. I will select both layers and I will choose auto align layers so that maybe I have. Uh, sh camera shaking uh, between the two photos and after that I will go to auto blend layers focus stack or, the, or stack image so now I just have to wait for Photoshop to do all the work for me so after merging the both layer I just want to go through all the photo and make sure that everything is correct because Photoshop didn't make it 100% correct not all the time but yeah I just want to you know make sure that everything is sharp from foreground to the background yeah and it looks like it looks like yeah, Photoshop did it right now I will merge the both layers merge layers and I will save this photo and now after going back to Lightroom you can see this is the photo that we merged so we have the first photo now of the uh, the first photo from the panorama we have the first photo with focus tag 
everything good now I will go to the second photo and I will make the same thing again I will open the photo in Photoshop and I will make um, focus tab so as you can see I'm selecting the boss photo edit in and open as layers in Photoshop Now I have the both layer in Photoshop, these two layers, I will select both of them and I will do auto align layers. And you don't have to forget this tip, auto align layers, it's very important. So after we have aligned the layer, we will go to auto blend layers, exactly the same, stack photos and I will just wait to Photoshop to do the work for me. So as you can see, after merging the both layers here, I will yeah, like the first photo just go through the photo from the foreground to the background and make sure that Photoshop yeah did select it yeah right yeah and after that I will merge the both layers and I will save it also and I will find it in Lightroom so I find it now in Lightroom this is the first photo from the panorama and this is the second photo focus tab aligned and everything is good now I will now I have this, the last photo the last photo there is no focus tag as I said now I have the three photos for the panorama um, and I can merge them yeah easily because I have everything in sharp and everything focus tag and I will just go to edit in merge uh, to panorama in Photoshop not open as layers because I just want to merge a panorama not open as layers and focus tag when I want to, uh, to make a focus tag I will open them as layers auto align layers and after that focus tag and when I want to select a photo uh, select yeah, three photos or four, four photos five photos in Lightroom and I just yeah select uh, merge to panorama in Photoshop Photoshop is just merging the three layers to make a vertical panorama not a horizontal panorama so now this is the merged photos as you can see everything is sharp from the beginning from the foreground to the background and everything is aligned direct uh, correctly and yeah I don't find anything wrong in the photo everything is aligned and everything is sharp and the ban the, yeah the panorama merge is fantastic there's nothing there's nothing um, wrong in the photo and i mean at least i mean in the merge in the panorama merge there's nothing wrong i just like yeah i like always to go to actual pixel so and just make sure there's nothing wrong in the focus stack or in the photo merge for the panorama so after i find that everything looks good i will merge the layers now now the three layers of the panorama i will merge them so as i said at the beginning i will take just this photo here because i like yeah the leaf here more than this photo more than this leaf this small leaf i i just like this more so i will take it edit in other photoshop so what i will do right now i just hit ctrl a to select the photo and ctrl c to copy it to copy it and after that i will come here and yeah make paste ctrl and v and what i will do i will select the boss layers and i will make auto align layers because I want the photo to be aligned the branch to be correctly aligned and I will choose auto and I will yeah, wait for Photoshop to make everything so as you can see here this is without the photo with the leaf with I like and this is the photo with the leaf with I like and I want to have it so what I will do right now I will try to make a mask 
I will make a mask like here and I will just I will try to take the branch from the first photo but I will try as much as I, I can not to yeah to look like there's something wrong or there's something It's really not easy to do that. You have to be careful with every inch you are editing. Just try always to take off the mask and yeah, turn it again just to make sure that don't look so over editing or something like that or there's something wrong or this manipulation photo manipulation it's not easy but yeah I I just try my best to yeah to look just to look natural and there's nothing wrong with this yeah I think that's good so I will merge this photo and now I will go to the final step which is cropping I will choose yeah four by five. And I will crop it just just like that. Yeah, something like that. I will go up. Mm, I think that's good. I will go a little bit up. Yeah, I think something like that. So as you can see here, this is the final photo. I will just uh, take this off. Yeah, something like that. It's not so hard. Yeah. So this is the final photo. I will save it and now I will, I will have it finally in Lightroom. So this is the final photo in Lightroom after the photo merge and after the focus stack. So I will, I will just talk about something. It, yeah, it's not a, a rule or something like that, but I just like to take panoramas. I will, I will show you why. Uh, if you, if you take a look of this photo right here, as you can see, the 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 tree 
right here in the background it's the same tree here and yeah and this and this tree here is the same tree here which means after the photo merging i have more space and if you can take a look here there's the branch here you can't you can't see the branch which is appear in this photo that means i have more space after the photo merging after the panorama and that's why why and that's why why i made a panorama because with only one photo like this the foreground looks somehow the same the foreground but the background i don't have um, yeah so yeah big space like a panorama and that's why i feel sometimes i like to take panorama so now after having the whole scene i just yeah going to to make the whole adjustment because i can decide what i want to do after having the whole scene uh, and it's easy to decide what i want yeah to, uh, to adjust uh, that's why i don't make a big adjustment before doing the panorama because i don't have the whole scene which i can easily decide what i want to do so i will take off the highlight just a little bit because there's yeah there's a lot of highlights here i will take off the highlights i will open the shadows a little bit because of the branch i want the branch i don't want a lot of branch uh, a lot of shadows on the branch and i will add a little bit of contrast mm, something like that uh, the whites now I will just something like that the plug and the clarity I will not play with the clarity right now I will just uh, use the brush and add clarity to this only to this area the vibrance I will touch I will not touch the vibrance uh, the turn curve I will not play with it now I think I'm in the most important process of this photo because um, I will play a lot with the um, with the color adjustment because uh, as you can see the, the green uh, the green color is so saturated and I just want to reduce this saturation of the green the green yeah the green uh, color in this photo and that's why I will try not of course not something like that but I will just take yeah like green saturation just a little bit because just feel it's so saturated i think something like that i will turn it off and on yeah exactly something like that and the yellow also just a little bit and what i will do right now i will just take this and add a little bit of saturation to the to the branch which is the orange and I the yellow I, I don't want to play with the yellow I will take it back a little bit so I just want to add a little bit of orange and yellow just to the branch here so after that yeah I think the color adjustment is good for now and um, now the split toning and what i yeah not 100 percent of my photos but the most of my photos what i did is i i add uh, yellow to the highlights something like only 10 percent not, not yeah a lot of just a little bit uh, i add yellow to the highlight and i add blue to the shadow just a little bit as you can see if i turn on and off you don't feel there's a yeah, harsh adjustment or over edit or something like that now i will add just a little bit of sharpening and yeah without the without the water only the leaf and the branch and i will do the, the second this is the second time i will do remove chromatic appreciation because yeah when there's highlights here you can find there's a lot of chromatic appreciation or something like that and yeah i think i am done with this photo i will go to the brush i will add uh, contrast and i will add uh, clarity yeah something like 25 yeah clarity 25 
contrast, something like that, and I will show selected mask overlay so that I will yeah, be sure where I am painting. And I will, as I said, I will just add clarity to the branch here. So just adding some contrast and clarity just to feel that this is the main subject of the photo. I will erase a little bit here because I don't want to touch the water. And yeah. As you can see, I can and I can also add clarity here because, yeah, this is this is related to the branch. something like that yeah I think that's look very good I will adjust a little bit sharpness clarity contrast yeah I think that I think that looks good I think I will just also go to luminance and take off the green yeah, something like that, not over, not overdoing it. Al yeah, always, always try to not overdo anything. This is the final photo and as you can see, I didn't make a yeah, very big adjustment or yeah, over editing. I don't like over editing in landscape and in woodland. You just have to try as much as you can to transfer the, the natural scene and don't play with it or make very big adjustment to just to yeah i don't know i don't know but really that's what i like in landscape and uh, in woodland just to transfer the photo as it and not over edit it so and as i said if you want to see uh, the video where i was taking this photo the link is here and thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and you learned something new i hope it was useful for you and if you are new to this channel and you like the photo please subscribe and see you next week bye